The other night I went to an event in the Albina section of Portland and I walked by this billboard. Knowing quite well what this organization is about, I posted the photo on threads. My God, the replies. This billboard has been spotted in Albuquerque, Columbus, Denver, Fort Lauderdale, Indianapolis, Los Angeles, Michigan, Minneapolis, Pennsylvania, Phoenix, Sacramento, Salem, San Antonio, San Diego. Thank you everyone who replied. TLDR, the Epoch Times is owned by an organization that is also affiliated with the Falun Gong religious cult. You've probably seen them meditating. I used to walk by them all the time in Union Square when I lived in New York City. The idea is, hey, we're all about meditation and peace and love, and underneath that is a very different story. You've also likely seen the Shen Yun billboards forever because that's also part of their propaganda. The paper was founded in the year 2000 by Chinese Americans who strongly oppose the current government in China. That's why the Shen Yun tagline is China before communism. Over the years, the paper has radicalized itself into a far-right conspiracy theory-driven newspaper and popular YouTube channel. They are also very effective on on social media. They've promoted a ton of anti-vax propaganda. They're big on QAnon. They even created a documentary about the truth behind January 6th. And this is a propaganda outlet. You have to know that. In 2016, the Epoch Times was the largest funder of Facebook ads for Donald Trump outside of the Trump campaign. And they've ramped up over the years. In fact, one of their current initiatives is they share all of these cute animal videos and heartwarming human interest stories with their logo on it, and then they feed it to meme accounts. And I've seen a few of these accounts share them without really knowing what Epoch Times is. I'm guessing they do this to soften their image, you know, come for the cute cats and stay for Pizzagate and chemtrails. But that's how propaganda works, and it works. I've seen conspiritualists like Russell Brand and J.P. Sears share their stories as if they were actual news. Look, it's so easy easy to spread things around on the internet today without actually checking where they're coming from. So just know that anything coming from the Epoch Times is only going to lead back to a lot of disinformation and propaganda.